What is up ladies and gentlemen, Spadio, and welcome to February's monthly discussion. I don't even know where to begin with this month, because everything like intertwines with each other, I guess you could say. So how about we just start off this way. The last day of the last month, I ended up ordering five things online. I ended up ordering four books and one DVD. And so far, four of the five things are here. And anyway, I'm still waiting on one book. The book that's not here yet is This Ugly Yet Beautiful World official artwork type of a book for the anime. Not really sure what you call it. Hopefully that will get here sooner or later. So yeah, I'm still waiting for that. And back in December, I ended up getting volumes 4 through 6 of the Persona 4 manga and I'm even confusing myself. Let's just say I ended up ordering last month in January volumes 1 through 3 of the Persona 4 manga. So in total, I now have the first 6 volumes of the Persona 4 manga in English. Sadly, I'm pretty sure that's all of the volumes that are currently in English, sadly. Plus, nearing the end of last month, the 11th volume for the Persona 4 manga came out in Japan. So I definitely don't think the manga is getting finished anytime soon, especially in English. As for the last thing I ordered, I ended up ordering the first five seasons of the cartoon Johnny Test. Honestly, I'm a big fan of that cartoon. Always has been, and probably always will. So I now have the first five seasons of the So On DVD. Obviously I ended up binge watching all of that. Even though I technically binge watched every season of that cartoon last year. At some point. So, end up binge watching it again. <laughs> Just about. Giant Test has six total seasons, I think. Maybe it has a seventh. Maybe it doesn't. All I know is one of the seasons got cancelled, and the show got cancelled back in 2014, I think. Which is the same because it was a good so. At least I think so. So yeah, I have the first five seasons of that on DVD. It was a nine disc set. 91 episodes total. And oddly enough, it only costs like, what, 15 bucks, I think? 
It's an asset pretty cheap for all those episodes. And what I think was like 32 hours or something of footage. So yeah, that was definitely worth it. I do have some complaints about it though. Some things are just, I'm a bit iffy on. For one, the disc are all, the CDs are all in little like paper plastic sleeves. You should probably know what I'm talking about. Why they were in those, I have no idea. <laughs> It's just odd. I'm just used to seeing them plopped into like a plastic like disc holder type thing and you just flip through. But uh, this is definitely different. I've never seen anything like it before at least. And on top of that the other complaint I had was honestly just the fact that for some reason a lot of the episodes had certain areas as on the screen I guess you could say that were a bit pixely and blocky when everything else was smooth. That was a bit weird. But of all, every DVD does work. And honestly, that's all that really matters, I feel. If it works, it's good enough. The last complaint I have, which I feel like is a bit weird, the first few seasons are in three, are in four by three screen size. And then you've got like two or three other DVDs that are in 16 by 9 screen size. And then like the last two DVDs or whatever were back in 4x3 size. I find that to be weird simply because I know for a fact <laughs> that the so at one point switched to 16 by 9 instead of 4 by 3. So the fact that it went back to that is a bit weird. But again, overall, it all works, so I'm happy. So yeah, that's all the things I ordered last month. And for the things I got. How the hell is it's almost a nine minute discussion just on that? Have some tea with me, so might be taking a drink here and there. And oddly enough, Johnny Test is on TV right now. At any rate. What else happened this month? I ended up, and still currently, watching the anime Zenbo a lot better than I thought it would be. I'm pretty sure I saw the post art for the anime back when it was brand new. But I never bothered to check it out. And honestly, I was just surfing YouTube and came across Zenba and decided to watch it. <laughs> Currently, I, uh, I'm at episode 48 of 52. The next episode I have to watch is 49. Really liking the show, gotta say. 
definitely near the end. The end is a lot darker than you would think. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't want this to be like a 20 minute Zen Bow rant. Let's just say Zen Bow's a lot better than I thought. I honestly like a lot of the characters. There's honestly not really any characters I hate. Some of the accents are kind of meh type of annoying, but it's tolerable. At any rate, moving on. Continued watching Buddy Fight as usual. And along with, well, Ben's watching Johnny Test, I also started to rewatch, but I think like the third time at this point, the Bound Invasion Saga arc in Bleeds. I'm kind of like in the middle of that. I'm probably going to continue watching it next month. But who knows, only time can tell. And other than those shows, that's all I really watched. Now what the hell did I play this month? <laughs> Played a good amount of Record of Agrost War Zero during the first half of this month. Ended up playing some Persona 4. We'll touch back up on that later. Ended up slightly playing or starting up, I should say. Persona 5 One Piece Pirate Warriors 1. Persona 2, the second game, I think. And Tales of Exilia. And put a lot of time, especially this past week, into diving back into Is a Lacrimosa of Donna. I easily put in almost 30 hours into the game this week. I think I'm about to dive into the final battle in that game, but I somehow doubt it's the final battle, simply because there's still more to do in the game. Like, there are areas you can't access until you recruit slash rescue more castaways. And I've saved everyone at this point in the game. So whether or not this is actually the final battle I'm about to dive into, I doubt it. So is they is just too fucking good. I can't help but recommend it enough. It's just something you just have to check out. Oh my god, I'm kind of like addicted to Izzy lately. <laughs> oh god. To some degree I was kind of like addicted to everything I did this month. <laughs> Doing a bit of everything. 
And anyway, why did I say slightly played most of those games I just mentioned moments ago? Test recording. So, Persona 4, February 11th was the night. No, wait, was that the. Hang on. I want to actually be fucking sore. So I'm checking. Was it the 10th that we figured that out? Or was it the 11th? I thought it was two weeks ago. February 10th. Alright. I thought it was the 11th. Wait, technically, wouldn't it be February the 9th? Because that test recording went up the day after? Whatever, you get the point. So around the 9th or the 10th of February, I somehow got lucky and managed to record and figure out the setup to record the PlayStation 3. And more importantly, Persona 4. We managed to get a good test video in. So we are able to record Persona 4. And before we continue talking about Persona 4, let's move forward to the 22nd of February. The 22nd of February, I figured out how to record actual PlayStation 3 games. Back on the 10th or whatever, I test recorded everything for the PlayStation 3. It worked for PlayStation 1, 2, and PSP games, but not PlayStation 3 games. So on the 22nd, I figured out what I had to do. I was able to record Persona 3, not Persona 3, Persona 5, along with Tales of Exilia and One Piece Pirate Warriors 1. Those are the three PlayStation 3 games I tested. And, oddly enough, Persona 5 test recorded the best out of everything I tried recording. Even Persona 4, even Persona 2. And that's a PlayStation 1 game. So honestly, that's surprising. But here's the thing, everything I tried to record glitched out. Persona 5 glitched out the very least, which is surprising <laughs> considering it has higher graphics. So here's the thing, I can and can't record this is such a bit. I know how to record now. I can do it. My computer just can't handle it. 
the longest I was able to record without my laptop or the recording glitzing out was pretty much 20 minutes on the dot. And that's with Persona 4. That's the only game I tried recording as many times as I did. I managed to record for about 20 minutes before it started to glitch out. So I think it's safe to say I can record Persona 4 and potentially LP it if we record for about 15 to 18 minutes at a time. And honestly, I am not up for it. No way in hell. As much as I want to tell the story on how Persona 4 changed me for the battle as fast as possible, because I'm so everyone's sick of hearing me go on about how Persona 4 is so great. As much as I want to appear as soon as possible, I am not going to LP Persona 4 if we have to record for that little of a time period at a time. If we could record for an hour at a time before it started to glitz out, then we would LP it. But since Persona 4 is such a long game, I'm not up for that. Yeah, I plan on making Bizarre 4 Let's Play episodes of mine to be like 15 to 25 minutes long, but that doesn't mean I want to split the actual recording so often. I think it'd just be too much of a hassle and I'd probably just rage quit at trying to get the recording to work. So the only way I can see as actually taking advantage of recording the PlayStation 3 is if we can LP a sort game. I'd be down for helping something like Digital Devil Saga, but no, helping a, di helping a SMT game with just no. <laughs> with high ass random encounter rates, the amount of trial and error I'd probably have to do and record for that little of a time period? Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no. I wouldn't even do that with Persona 3. There are only two games I can think of that I would try to LP and try to record with the Elgato using this laptop. And that would be Bakugan Battle Balls and Bakugan Battle Balls Defenders of the Core. The problem is I have those games for the Wii, not for the PlayStation 3. So until I end up getting my hands on the PlayStation 3, versions of those games, I guess I'll just have to wait. There's no other way of looking around it. Those two Bakugan games are games I would want to LP. And I'm totally down for that. 
I just need the PlayStation 3 versions. And sadly, they're not digital games. You have to get the actual physical copy. Which is the same. At any rate... What else happened this month? I actually can't think of anything else. Huh. Figured this would be a longer monthly discussion. I'm pretty sure it's been like years. Like two years or so now. Since we've had like an hour. Or 50 hour, 50 hour, <laughs> fuck no, 50 minute to an hour long monthly discussion. It's been a long time, definitely. Figured this monthly discussion would be about that long. Oh well, I'm not going to keep ranting. If I don't really have anything else to say, then I guess that's it. So yeah, till next time, stay golden.